Hey everybody, my name's Luke, and today I'm going to be drawing this girl right here. So stick around. Alright, welcome everybody. Uh, it's been a while. Power Girl, that's what I'm going to be drawing today. Uh, sorry, it took me a while to get a video out. I started back at school, which means that I had an entire week of... Uh, prep work and setting up classroom and all that stuff. It's been quite a hectic time, but I'm back on schedule, so that's what um, that's all that matters right now. Anyway, uh, let's get down to the drawing. I started off uh, I just with the immediate sketch there, you can see. And as you can see in the sketch, um, not too tight. I Again, I like to keep the sketches loose. I like to keep everything really loose and make sure that I have room to play. I don't like feeling constrained. When I first started drawing, I would do very tight pencils and pencil everything into the finest detail that I could. And then I would go over it with pen and what I would find is that I would ruin what I did. I would feel like my pencil work was much better than my pen work. So in order to fix that, I decided to start doing loose and loose pencil sketches and then immediately move on to pen. To fix that, um, I was actually talking to my wife about it. Uh, she paints, and she she's uh, she's very good at painting. And I told her that in order to get good at drawing, what I, what I've started to do is to do fast sketches in pen only. Basically, I commit myself to say, okay, I'm going to spend a minute and draw something in a minute. And usually, it's um, a figure figure drawing, you know, like a human figure. And after a minute, I'll switch to a different pose and switch to a different pose after another minute. And I'll do 10 or 15 of those if I can. And only in pen and commit to that one minute. So even if I'm not done in one minute, stop and move on to something else. This forces you to become loose. This forces you to not care as much about what you're drawing. I know that sounds mean, but I felt like before when I was first drawing, everything that I was drawing was my baby. And I wanted to protect it, and I wanted to keep it safe, and I wanted to make sure that it was perfect. And that meant that every drawing that I committed to took forever to do because I wanted them to be perfect every time. And of course, they're not going to be perfect because I'm learning how to draw. Obviously, as if I go back and look at a lot of my older stuff, it looks terrible compared to my newer stuff. And it's embarrassing to look at it, but it's the truth, and we have to be honest with ourselves. So in order to get over that, get over myself and get over my own, um, I guess my own critiques of myself, I started doing fast drawings. The faster the drawing, the more loose it was, the more I could get used to saying, well, I did it really quickly, so therefore it doesn't matter if I messed up a little bit. Then when I worked on sketches and in my sketchbook and then more professional stuff, if I mess something up, I'm more open to saying, oh, that's messed up. I may as well start over. Now, um, and you can see there, I kind of went over with a thicker pen. I went over with a medium. I don't remember what pen I used, but it was a, a medium pen and then a, a light pen for the, a small pen for the finer stuff. And remember, I usually start with all finer pen and then I go over with some mediums and give stuff some line, line weight. I'm not the best at giving line weight, I'm not going to lie. So if you're not if you don't like the way I give line weights and stuff, I recommend um, people like Scott Robertson or even uh, John Jonathan. I think his name is Jonathan Rector. His his stuff is really good too, and his his videos are really good, really solid. Recommend those guys. They're really they're really good. They do great jobs. Um, you can kind of see me here. Power Girl wears a white jumpsuit. Now I'm on a tone tan. Strathmore paper and I don't have white marker so how am I gonna get a white jumpsuit I'm actually not gonna do it at all I'm gonna avoid it and basically say I'm gonna go for thick rich colors and then do white by contrast if everything has a darker or a richer color then a pale gray will start to look like a white or a beige at the very least and hopefully it conveys especially at the end so you can kind of see me here throwing down a couple of things. This isn't really the standard Power Girl outfit. It's more my take on the outfit. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of like the 
the blue kind of contour lines that I put on the suit. I felt like her outfit is a little bit simplistic, but I kind of like that. And you can kind of see me there smudging some of the some of the color because too much some of the pens release too much color and too much alcohol, which means that you can kind of smudge them around. And I like to do that in order to blend them in with the colors that I laid down before. And here I'm coming in with a very, very strong pink uh, as my base. And then I'm going to go in later with a lighter tone. And that will just be for uh, filling out the rest of the skin tone. Now, as I was saying, one thing we want to get used to as artists is looking at our art and saying, it's good, it's okay, it's presentable. And being okay with different phases and different levels of art. Not every piece of art has to be a masterpiece. And not every piece of art can be a piece of junk. So we want to get used to having different levels and just kind of going from there. You can kind of see that this marker here, by the way, it kind of dried out on me halfway into it. So you can see some of the rough lines, especially on the, on the thigh and torso. I was really upset with that and I tried to smooth it out as best as I could. Sadly, it's not the greatest smoothing just because the marker died out on me as I started. And I had totally forgotten that the marker was dry. So that was kind of frustrating. But you can see there, it's almost looking like there's white, and, and the gray makes it look like it's a shadow of the white. In order to emphasize that even more, Power Girl, another one of her main colors is blue, and I don't really have any blue on here. So I decided to throw down a geometric shape behind her as soon as I'm done with these reds and just kind of giving more colors and more volume to, to everything. Um, you can kind of see that I'm using my older markers first just to get rid of them and uh, finish them off so I can go buy new ones. And now I think is when I come in with, yeah, the blue. This is a very rich dark blue. Um, so I decided to throw down this egg shape behind her. Kind of accent the fact that um, she has almost a, a forward looking, forward moving position. It's like she was caught, someone took a picture of her as she was trying to walk by. Um, I kind of like that. I like when things look like they're in motion. Uh, it's it's really rough to get things to look like they're in motion. It's especially if you're a new artist or a starting artist, things will start to look very static. Even things that you think are in motion. Try drawing someone walking, and then look at someone else's drawing of someone walking. I used to have this problem where everyone looked like they were just frozen, in and just not in motion and I wanted to have more kinetic energy in my drawings and then I started lo looking more at cynics and uh, and Sikra and several other people and just kind of getting a feel for how they convey motion and energy in their drawings so it's always good to not assume that you have all the answers but go look for the answers because there are plenty of answers out there to be had so never just think that you know best always go out and if you want to do something, see what other people have done. Um, copying is the best form of uh, flattery. I, I forgot the phrase, but it's something like that. And I don't recommend copying outright, but you can take elements from different people and really incorporate them into something that could be your own style. Uh, I would say that I definitely have my own style. I don't know how happy I am with it. I feel like I have a long way to go. But it's definitely my own. And that's good because I used to be at a point where I would look and say, "Ugh, my drawings look terrible. Nothing looks the way I, like the way I want it to look," and just get very upset at everything that I would do. But now I'm more along the lines of saying, "You know what? It's pretty good, and with some refinement, I could see it going places." Um, you can kind of see me here with a white jelly roller pen. Uh, I bought a, a four pack of these, so they work really well. Um, just kind of throwing down some whites, give it like a hard white, and then it'll really accent the gray to look like a shadow, and then the other part to look like a mid-tone white, even though it's not really what's happening. I had originally planned on using a jelly roller and just filling her entire costume out in white, but I felt like it would look a little bit tacky, and the jelly roller has a fine tip, which means that I would have to almost ruin the paper by going over it many many times to make sure every inch every piece was filled out with white um, ink, ink. So you can kind of see me here finishing up with a little bit of white outline on the blue just to kind of tie it all together and I think with this yeah I start to go inside 
and kind of give a little bit more outline to her contour on the inside to contrast against the blue. Um, everybody's different and they're going to do backgrounds different, they're going to do outlines, they're going to do shading, everything different. It's always good to experiment and if you don't like it, you can experiment more and figure out why you don't like it and then maybe develop something out of it. Anyway, let's take a look at the final piece. You can see it here. It came out okay and I'm kind of happy with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Thanks for watching the video. If you want, you can check out the last video I posted in the link below. There's also Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy links provided here for you to check out and hopefully see some stuff you like. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.